Hey guys, Nick here with TechWordDo. In this video, we're gonna install WordPress on our Synology NAS. All right, so let's get to it. All right, so what you wanna do is open up your package center. So I had done this ahead of time. I went ahead and installed all the necessary applications that we needed. Uh, these are all the dependencies that WordPress needs. So I'll create a list below in the uh, description but they do take a little bit of time to install. So instead of just doing it on video, I figured uh, you know, I'd just give you guys a list. You guys can download it. It is as simple as clicking the install button. All right, so we need Apache, MariaDB 10, PHP 5.6, PHP 7. We will be using PHP 7, but 5.6 automatically gets downloaded with PHP My Admin. So you'll need this too. And let's see, what else is there? I think there is one more up oh, there and there's WebStation down here. Let me expand my window here so you can see it. There we go. So WebStation as well. All right. So as you can see, they are all running. And let's go ahead and finish the last install here. Let's go to WordPress. Let's see. Where is WordPress? Probably down here just a little bit. There it is. So we will click Install. Okay. The following... Apache 2.0 and install WordPress. So let's click no. Oh. So yep, we have to click yes. Even though we have Apache 2.4 installed, we have to click yes here. It will install 2.2 and then it will install WordPress, but we will use 2.4 as the uh, backbone of this. All right, so give it some time, let it, uh, let it configure here and install. All right, so as you can see here, it is downloading WordPress now. Okay, so set up WordPress. So please enter the credentials for MariaDB 10 to proceed. So what we had done was um, install MariaDB 10. It is uh, by default blank. The username is root. So let's click next. Database name. So we will keep this as WordPress. Database user account, we can make this anything we want. I'm gonna keep it as WordPress user for now. This is just a test. So database user password. So we will create this uh, I'm just going to name it, name it test or make the password test. Click next and click apply. All right, so can let that install. So as it said, starting here. So the WordPress installation should start. But we're not done just yet. Okay, so if we click on this, status is running. But let's head up to, uh, let's close this first. Head up to the top here. Let's click on WebStation. All right, so the status uh, personal website disable, virtual host normal. Let's scroll down. Let's do HTTP backend 2.4, PHP 7.0. It's perfect. Virtual host normal. So it says next cloud just because that is what I had named uh, that I had a test for before. But what we want to do is do is set up um, WordPress. Okay. So that's fine. All right. So the next thing is document root. So we want to have a uh, an area where we can store the information and data. So web next cloud. All right, so we want to do create, create new shared folder. We will call this one WordPress. All right, so we can enable the recycle bin if we want. 
we could encrypt this. We'll just click OK for now. All right, so what we want to do is uh, take a look at this. Our admin has read write permissions. Guest, OK. Let's uh, check all the other settings here. So permissions, read write, that's fine. Local users, let's click on system internal users. Let's see what we have here. Okay, so nothing that we need there. Let's click on local groups. And so here we are, so we need HTTP. So we want read and write access for HTTP to that. And let's click OK. All right, so now that is a folder. We'll click the X there, close out of there. We're going back to the virtual host, click Browse, WordPress, select, Apache 2.4, PHP 7.0, OK. Let's let that load, great. All right, so let's test it. Let's see if this is working for us. Okay, web station has been enabled. To finish setting up your website, please see web service section. So let's try this now. If we do WordPress. Let's see if that comes up for us. And there we are. So that worked. We can go ahead, click continue, site, username, everything from here. So we will name this, you know, test site. Username is going to be Nick. Password is going to be test. And we want to uh, confirm it's a weak password, email address. We can leave as is. So we must provide an email address. All right, let's provide it. Test at test.com. Confirm and install WordPress. Login. Test. Test. And log in. Oh, let's try that one more time. Test at test.com and password login. And here we are. So we're at our website. We can go to our test site. We can view it. We can customize it. Let's check out our themes. So a new version available. We can update these themes as needed. We can go to plugins and add new plugins as well. And here we are. So that's it. It's a uh, pretty straightforward and simple. And if you guys uh, need some more assistance with this, please leave them in the comments below. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Have a great day.